All right, my friends, um, I got started with that ornament project. And what I have are three pieces of paper that I folded in half. And I use the ideas from the handout that's part of the slide stack to draw half of the ornament. Now, you have to realize that I started my marker, my drawing line, on the folded side of the paper. This side is open, this side is folded, and I start on the fold. I go as far across as I can. I want my ornament to be pretty large. And then I come on back to the folded side. So each one of my designs starts at the fold. It goes away from it and then back to the fold. So I have three different ornaments using the ideas from the handout. Now, if you have other ideas or if you want to try other things, that's absolutely fine. You're welcome to do your own style of ornament. The important thing is that you start at the fold and you try to go across the paper as much as possible so that you have plenty of ornament left to decorate. That's step two, if you remember. Decorating the ornament after you've glued it in place is kind of the fun part. That's where you get to start adding some details. So now I'm just following the line that I had drawn. Uh, and when I unfold it, I have what looks like an ornament. I can do that for each piece of paper that I have. Remember, I folded it in half. I started my marker on the fold. I went away from the fold and then I drew my outline shape and went back to the fold. So each one of these has followed that same basic principle. It looks like an ornament and a bell. And then here we go again, the final one, starting at the fold. I'm cutting on the line that I made. I don't recommend you using marker to do this, especially not Sharpie to do the drawing. I used it just so that you could easily see the line, but you can tell that in parts of it, it's soaked through. Um, and has left me that black line on the other side. So maybe I think that ornament looks really wide. If I fold it again, I can make adjustments as long as I'm cutting through both parts of my paper at the same time, I can trim that and make my ornament less wide. If I thought it looks too wide and I don't like how that looks. If I think I need to make it uh, a little bit more round and less like an oval. See how I can absolutely go back and trim the, the ornament to make the shape that I want at the end. So all of this is garbage. Um, I have a piece of paper that I'm going to be gluing or attaching my ornaments to at the end. Um, it's just so that I have some type of variety or layering happening. And then remember, I also showed that the background paper has a tree branch on it. So once you've gotten your ornaments and you're happy with them, you can use whatever you have to decorate the ornaments. If you wanted to use, maybe you have metallic markers or you have different um, colors of markers or gel pens, whatever works for you uh, would make terrific decorations for on it. But the idea sheet that is provided has just some simple lines to make it look more like the ornaments that we see at the holidays. Um, I'm right now just using a black marker because that's what I have. And you could obviously use other colors and put your favorite symbols or your favorite designs. I just like some graphics. So as I continue making some details on my ornaments, I'm just gonna be using patterns and shapes and just make some designs go across the ornament. By using those bent lines right there, it makes my ornament look more curved. Um, and I can just keep adding and making it look mm, complete or making the design look a little more interesting. So have fun, decorate your ornaments. Um, at the end, you're gonna glue three down onto your page. I recommend drawing using something to draw some type of a tree branch or branches um, for your ornaments to hang on. That would be just a simple curved or bent line and then some uh, pine tree needles coming off of there. You could absolutely add more detail if you wanted to give it some the look of some snow on there. If you wanted to make your branches look full, you could use more than one color and make your branch look a little more realistic by adding some different colors in there. Uh, did you want to have a brown branch because you'll think it looks more like wood? So maybe you want some brown in there. Um, have you ever seen pine cones? Absolutely, draw those if you choose. Sometimes you see um, berries on different kinds of um, fir trees or, or pine trees. So absolutely, you can make this your own. Um, and then as you finish your ornaments, they'll look terrific glued on there. Uh, if you don't have colored paper, see what you can find looking around the house. Um, maybe you can find parts of a catalog or recycled papers um, and use those to create your design. 
I think it's kind of fun. Yep, you can make uh, large numbers of these. Whatever paper is will be your limit. And uh, make sure you share some with me. But make sure you also follow all the steps and make them colorful and bright and finished. Don't just stop here once you've cut them out. Add some details or designs to those. So I hope you have fun with this. Um, I hope the slides help you see the steps that you might need to follow. And you can make any changes or adjustments. Use the materials or supplies that you have. And I hope you have fun.